hello friends welcome to java swing tutorial in this tutorial we are going to see how to use j checkbox so you will learn j checkbox item listener and item event so j checkbox is almost equivalent to awt checkbox but the swing provides an extra capability of adding an image to the checkbox control here we are not going to add any image so if you already watched the awt checkbox you can uh, actually skip seeing this video because it's almost going to be the same but you are seeing the checkbox for the first time you can watch, continue watching this uh, video So the AWT playlist is optional and this frame window uh, is a must. Um, so if you know how to create a frame window, we can directly proceed with this video. Or if you want to know how to create a swing J frame, then you can watch this uh, uh, video from swing tutorial playlist. So it's the very first video, J frame window. So using the check checkbox class, you can create the uh, swing checkboxes. Once it is created, you can actually use the constructor. And to the constructor, you can actually pass the caption for the uh, checkbox. So using the add method of the content pan, you can add the check checkbox. So it, once it is added to the content pan, then it will be displayed um, in the frame window or if it is a dialog, it is displayed in the dialog box. So the check checkbox produces item event. So this item event will be sent to item state changed. So you can listen to this item you want using the item listener. So once you implement item listener, you can override this item state change and so that whenever an item event is produced, it will be given to the item state change and you can do your handling here. That's all. Since we already saw this in uh, AWT, so we have gone quite fast here. Now we will go to Eclipse demo. So this is our uh, JFrame window, which was created in the very first video of this series. Here we just change this. Uh, size and position every time when we create a new example so this is the empty frame window now we will create a j text box so first at uh, class level we declare two numbers one is the string which uh, tells what text box is selected or we even don't need this we just uh, have the text field and we will report which checkbox is selected in this text field so we are declaring this as a class member so the j text field is from java x dot swing package next we create three instance of the j text box the j text box is from java x dot swing package so we just uh, imported that next we created a j text field which can hold 35 characters next we will add all these components to the content panel 
so content pan we already got using the get content pan so reference is control host to the control host we are adding all these four uh, all these four uh, controls now we will execute this and you can see this is the checkbox uh, behavior you can select any checkbox if you select once again it will remove the uh, placement of a check mark now we will handle the checkbox event using the anonymous uh, handler so first we will take uh, chk1 add item listener then i'm placing new once i click uh, control space in the keyboard it uh, displays the option from the display the option double click on uh, item listener anonymous inner type so once you double click it will automatically provide the uh, handling code so skeleton's code will be ready so now we just need to place our handling code inside this uh, item state changed so let me copy this next uh, inside the handler for uh, checkbox one we are checking if uh, checkbox one is selected so this will tell whether the checkbox is selected or not so if it is in selected state then we have the text field right we are setting the text stating checkbox one selected we can do the same for other two checkboxes since these are all the copied code just i am changing the so this is the handler for checkbox two and this one is for checkbox three then here we are checking uh, for checkbox two here we are checking the same for checkbox three that's all we are done with our coding now we will run and uh, test it so you can see checkbox one selected two selected three that's all here uh, in this video